Hello, this is Billy Corp from the Nostalgia Mall, and today we're going to be doing something for the first time this decade. We are going to be adding another Packard Bell to my collection. Yes, what a surprise here. Haven't added one to my collection since about a year ago when I got the Packard Bell Force 102 CD, which sadly uh, died on me the other day. IDE controller uh, went bad on it, but anyway. The Packard Bell in this box is not a HP uh, Scanjet 4P, although uh, this is a very interesting box to send this in. Uh, looks like this was originally sold for a Mac. There's the old Staples logo here. This is a Packard Bell Legend 406 CD. And I've had a 406 CD before. I got one back in 2012 and had it for a couple of years. and wound up selling it to my friend uh, Computer Kid 1416 here on YouTube. So, um, it's nice to have another one again in the collection, although this one's a bit different from uh, the first one I had, and we will uh, see that when we get this open. Which we'll do right now. It's uh, got to take pretty well. Bought this from a uh, person in my uh, Packard Bell Facebook group, and there are several reasons why I chose to purchase this, and you will see why momentarily. I can uh, get this open without slicing my hand off. And the box of floppy disk is just to uh, conceal uh, my address. Hey, okay, bunch of styrofoam here. Might have to uh, take a shot back to all this uh, after all is said and done. And there's more than just the computer in here. More on that later. Something in here. Something in here. Something in here. something in here. Oh, something in here as well. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of goodies to go through today, which is going to be exciting. And now for the computer. Set that aside for now. We'll get this box out of the way. Still think that's a pretty cool box though. Just the camera there. Lots and lots of bubble wrap, which is nice. Always try to save this for uh, when I have to uh, ship something out. Just find the end of the tape. Okay, hopefully it should be straightforward from here on out. Goodness. That is a lot of bubble wrap. And I can kind of see the back end of the computer. We're going to get there. Don't you worry. I can peel some plastic. I can see a spec sticker just barely. I 
turn the air off out here because it was going to be too loud for the video, so I am sweating. It's a very humid day. Uh. Almost there. more layers. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to tear it off. I'm too anxious. <laughs> And here it is, the Packard Bell Legend 406 CD, a little bit yellowed, but retro brighting uh, might be able to take care of that. Okay, got it up on the workbench so we could take a closer look. There it is, Packard Bell Legend 406 CD. Now the uh, major difference between this 406 CD and the one I had before this is that the uh, case is different. They're both desktop cases, but this one uses the 4x4 form factor, whereas the other one used a 3x3, which was the more common form factor for the 406 CD. And of course this one has an extra dry bay. Yeah, I know, I'm totally geeking out on you guys <laughs> with that kind of info. And it has a different motherboard. The uh, original had a uh, Hillary motherboard. This one has a PB600, most famously seen in my Legend 822 CDT. And we have a spec sticker. Intel 75 megahertz Pentium, 850 meg hard drive, 8 megs of RAM. And I believe that this computer is mostly original. Um, I know it's got the original hard drive in it, but I don't know if the RAM has been upgraded at some point. So, um, there are many reasons why I bought this, as you'll see later in the video, but one reason I bought this is the hardware and era of this computer is extremely similar to my Legend 822 CDT. And I thought it would be a fun idea to have a computer to kind of complement it, kind of a uh, a brother to it, I guess you could say. And I'm going to put it where the Corner Packard Bell is right now. Corner Packard Bell is still running great, but I kind of want to give it a break and try something different for a while. And I'll probably uh, swap, swap between the two uh, over time for whichever I'm in the mood for. And this might be my first RetroBright experiment using this computer. So we will have to wait and see how that goes. Turn it to the back without destroying the place. And this was manufactured um, October the 9th of 1995. And still got the original sound modem card. And there's our port layout. Okay, so it turns out all those little uh, random cardboard boxes that were in there were empty, so I think those were just being used for uh, packing material, which was a pretty clever idea. But I do know what's in this uh, envelope. Something uh, really cool to go along with this computer. The original software and documentation. It's not often you find an old uh, original Packard Bell with all the original uh, software and documentation. So uh, this is definitely really, really cool. And so let's see what we got here. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, pre-bundled uh, software. 
from the 1995-1996 uh, package. I've got oh, so many copies of these CDs now. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to have some more. Silent Steel. The This multi-CD with the uh, Pirate Who Wouldn't Wash and Millie Fitzwillie's Mouse Catcher. Journeyman Project Turbo. Guinness, Guinness Record Book from 1995. My First Encyclopedia and Spider-Man Cartoon Maker. Always a classic. Not sure if this was original to the system or not. Uh... Windows Magazine Winpack Multimedia CD. We'll have to check that out. That might be interesting. Uh, Mindscape Complete Reference Library. Better Homes and Gardens Healthy Cooking CD Cookbook. Enscape Demo Sampler. Not sure what that is. It's from 1996, so it's uh, a bit newer than the computer. Multimedia Almanac from Sports Illustrated, Weekend Home Projects, and the Packard Bell Master CD. Already have one exactly like this, but good to have another one. And this uses the same Master CD and format number as the 822, which is nice. Oh, and missing its envelope is the Windows 95 Companion CD. This has the uh, Hover Game as well as the Buddy Holly Weezer video. Classic stuff right there. Indeed. Okay, we've got uh, Encarta 96. This was not original to this computer. It came with Encarta 95. But, always good to have that. Copy of Corel Draw. Again, not original to the system, but cool to have. Okay, we got some more CDs. Uh, Packard Bell Navigator. Toon Land with Howie Mandel. Classic game there from my childhood. Some kind of booklet. With no cover. I'll figure that out later. In Cardin 95. And that's it. And this is an empty envelope for uh, the Master CD, Navigator CD, which um, it's empty right now, but I'll uh, add those to it. The Windows 95 uh, Manual and COA. I remember these. Oh, this is... This is a bundle of nostalgia right here. An ad for uh, clearly the best way to learn computers. PC Novice uh, Magazine and PC Today Magazine. Uh, I, I guess that was a magazine. And Active Imagination uh, Storybook Games. Those are the people who made the uh, Pirate Who Wouldn't Wash and Millie Fitzwillie, they were actually owned by Packard Bell. So um, that's the uh, $10 or $3 rebate on your next Kid Story Series purchase. So, yeah, I'll just send that in after 25 years. And the book for these CDs. Cool to have. And the box for the CDs. I've got plenty of these. And of course, finally, the Packard Bell Quick Start Guide. Such cool stuff come with this computer. Okay, all that's left to do now is to uh, give it a test run. Um, I already know that this computer worked before it was sent here, so hopefully um, it survived the uh, trip from Michigan. This is where it came from. Let's see what happens. Okay, we get power. Alright, and we got power on self-test. Looks like it has received a memory upgrade. I am going to swap the drive out for the hard drive out for a uh, 
CF card. I'm going to have one for 95 and one for 3.1. And it looks like the uh, BIOS could be updated to the latest version, which I do have on a disk. It's taking a while to get through this. Okay, booting into Windows 95. Wouldn't be surprised if this was the original install. Okay, it said it didn't find the CD-ROM drive. Maybe it got maybe the connection got jostled loose. Listen to that old Connor hard drive. 850 megabytes. No way you could ever fill that up. And what kind of mouse cursor is that? And the uh, time is actually correct. That's the thing about these PB600 boards, the CMOS battery, it uses a coin cell, but it's soldered to the board, but I've never encountered one that was dead. These things are magic, I tell you. And is the date right? Yep, it is. Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Let's go into our system properties. Got 40 megabytes of memory, which is probably what I'll keep it at. This is the Packardville install, it looks like. Okay, we're having an MPU 401 uh, problem. Serious Logic 5430. Got Ma Magic the Gathering on here. And Navigator, of course. Warcraft 2. Never got into those kind of games. Okay, let's see if we got our system credentials. And yes, we do, because this is the original hard drive. And I will definitely uh, back up the master boot record. Check that out. Test date, October 10th, 1995, 6.30 a.m. Let's see how full this hard drive is. Yee. Only 73 megabytes free. That's very concerning. Of course, I'm not going to go through the original owner's files because that would make me a dirty, dirty animal. And we don't like dirty, dirty animals, do we? And I just noticed that someone has some cheats for Final Fantasy VII. Never played that game, but to each their own. Got Diablo on there as well. Apparently the, there used to be a Lexmark Color Jet Printer 1020 connected to this at one time. And AOL 4.0 and 5.0 is installed. Okay, now's the time to pop the hood and see what we got inside. It'll probably be kind of dirty. He said it was a little bit on the dirty side inside, so... Go. Okay, here's the inside. It doesn't look too dirty, I don't think. Now, what I want to do is get to the bottom of the... Uh, undetected CD-ROM drive. Let's see, is there... A, it's connected there. Ah! There's our problem. Power is not connected. I love simple solutions like that. <laughs> okay, there's our uh, processor clocked at 75 megahertz. Packard Bell sound card with the modem built in. 
There's our Cirrus Logic 5430 video chip. And our magical CMOS battery, which can never die, somehow. <laughs> and there's our original hard drive. And, of course, I want to back up the uh, master boot record so I can uh, transfer the system credentials over to the new drive that I'm going to put in. CD-ROM was built August 1995. It's a quad-speed NEC. Would not be surprised if it's not functioning. And sure enough, we now have a CD drive working. Well, being detected at least, let's see if we can actually read a disk. Let's put in this Windows 95 companion and see what happens. Well, I am surprised. <laughs> it seems to work. Hmm. Let me play hover, I wonder. I know there's no sound. I just don't have uh, speakers hooked up. Hey, it's trying. All right. Silent hover. Hmm, that's... That's healthy. Yeah, <laughs> not a good sign. But no big deal. Um, I'm not going to be using this Windows install anyway. I'm sure it's a software related issue, not hardware. I'll just tell myself that until it's true. Okay, um, just out of curiosity, I'm going to uh, test the CD ROM drive with a recorded CD. Because these can be a little bit finicky. I've used these drives before, and they can usually read recorded discs just fine, but you never know. Hey, look at that. Of course, um, this may have been recorded at a slower speed. But I might be able to just keep that CD-ROM drive in here. It's not often I get to use the original CD-ROM drive that these old computers come with. That's really nice. Okay, so what's going to have to be done to this computer is, well, nothing too um, outrageous. Um, everything seems to be fully functional on here. So all I really need to do is just swap this hard drive out for a CF card and do a uh, restore from the Packerville Master CD, but before any of that I need to back up the uh, system credentials from the master boot record and copy it over to the uh, CF card. And also at a later date I will attempt to do um, retro writing with this front bezel right here. So uh, in the next video we'll uh, take this computer, swap the hard drive out for a CF card, and another thing I'm going to do is also add a Ethernet network card to this computer so I can hook it up to my network. And that's really all we need to do. There's no, no cleaning involved, it looks like. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with this. So, until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.